In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add group labels to ProPresenter. Group labels give you a label and a color you can use, which make it really great, especially for those who are showing the presentation real time. I have a song on the screen called Be Thou My Vision. All the lyrics are what I want. We have uh, five different verses. So how do I let the operator see very clearly the difference between the verses? Well, I'll use group labels. I right click on a slide. I'll take the first verse and go to the group label option. And when I do that, I have a pop up and I can label it a verse, a chorus, a bridge, a tag, a blank, whatever I want. I'm going to go over here and go down and just click on verse one. Now, what happens here is very common in ProPresenter. You have inheritance. Every single slide thinks it's part of verse one. Well, I'll go to the second slide, which is verse two, right click. I will go to new group. We'll go to verse two. Once again, everything believes it's part of verse two. I'll go to the third one, new group, verse three. The next one, right click, new group, we'll do verse four. Right click, then we'll go to a new group. Now I don't have a verse five. What do I do? I can click on other. If I click on other, I can give it a label. Call it verse five. I can give it a color. Let's pick a um, one we don't have up there so far. Let's pick a yellow. Now I can save this label and the color on my drop down list, or I can choose not to. I'm going to not save it for now, but you may wish to do it every time. So if you have another song with five verses, you already have a label. Then I'll click on OK. Now I have all the verses color coded. Let's assume we want to add a blank slide. An easy way to do that is you click on the plus button and you'll have a drop down that may tell you you're adding a slide. And right now it inherited verse five. Well, to label it as blank, I right click on the slide. I go to my new group and I have the option called blank. And there we go. I encourage you to use a blank slide perhaps at the beginning of a song and the end of the song so you can add different cues to turn video, audio, other features on and off. That's the basics of the group labeling and you'll find this very helpful as other people learn to follow along with your design and be on the right place at the right time because of the label and because of the color. <laughs> a useful tool for those who design in ProPresenter version 6. We trust that you found this training helpful in using group labels in ProPresenter version 6. If you have, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to the Sharper Turtle.